to use the OWAP app uh, to do um, login automatically. Uh, we're gonna learn by using another uh, vulnerable web application called Budget Store. Um, it is very similar to the OWAP Juice Shop, but it has easier login and register page. So it's gonna be easier to use SAP to um, to learn how to do it. Um, so we are going to download and install um, by following the instruction in the GitHub um, repository here. If you go here, actually um, the best way to do it is to um, use Docker image. And uh, we can go to uh, this Docker Hub website to um, see the instruction of how to run. So what you can do is that you can do um, Docker pull. Um, so I'm just gonna copy this and then um, I'm just gonna do Docker pull um, here. Since Actually, since I already have it, um, it's just gonna say that I already have it. If you don't, it's gonna take quite a bit to, to download. So um, please be patient when you pull the image. And once you have finished pulling the image, we're gonna be running um, this web application. So to run, we're gonna follow um, this instruction. So I'm just gonna copy and then paste here. Uh, one thing that we have to change though is we have to change um, the port. So you see two port here, right? The port um, um, in the back is going to be the port for the, the logic um, internal image of Docker. Um, but the port up front here is going to be the port that we are going to use through our web browser. Since port 8080 is going to be used by the OWAP SAP. So the OWAP SAP that you see here in GUI, actually it has a server running behind it. And um, the server runs on port 8080. So here we have to change it to something else. Here I'm just going to change to 8081. And then you click enter. Now um, um, the vulnerable web server is starting and and now um should be ready um so to to access it um here you say that you have to go to this url so just copy and then you have to change the port to 8081 and then click enter here this is what it looks like um it just uh, it's actually like an e-commerce website without any beautiful graphic with it the, the product that it has here is just very um, just like a simple link here and then like type and stuff like that and then um, like when you click there you can you know add to basket so it's just a simple um, web um, e-commerce website uh, so now we are going to use the OWAP app to test it so what we are going to do here, we're just going to open the um, OWAP app, which I already opened it. And here I'm just going to do, I'm not going to save the, the session. Um, the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to um, do the automated scan first, just to see that without locking in um, what URL it can scan. So I'm just going to do automated scan and then I'm just going to um, type in the uh, input in the um, the URL now change to 8081 and then I'm just going to use the traditional spider and then I'm just going to attack. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna do just the spider and uh, not active scan. So let's take a look at the spider. So what you see, it, it found like 131 URL with like home um, um, about contact lock in basket search and, and the product page. Um, and like the, the CSS, um, the JavaScript 
um, log in, just you know, go to the basket and go to the image and stuff like that, right? So this is what it has found um, in the um, automatic scan. So what we are going to do next, we're gonna set up um, a user um, so that the OWAP app can automatically log in. So what you are going to do is we are gonna click at this icon. So this icon is, is gonna open a web browser. It's gonna be like a manual um, scan instead of automated scan. But instead of clicking um, this, another option is you can just click this and you can act like you are um, serving um, the, the web. So um, um, this icon, it depends on the browser that you have used most recently. Um, I have used um, the Firefox most recently. That's why it has the Firefox icon. If you have choose um, the automated scan to be like Chrome, this should be like a Chrome icon. So I'm just gonna click at this. So when you click this, um, it's going to open um, a web browser. Um, now my Firefox is starting. So now I can go to um, the address that um, the, 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 the budget um, address here. And then I click enter, right? So it comes here. And now um, we're going to do um, user registration so that we can use um, this user for the automated login. Um, so what you do is that you go to um, the login and then there is a register um, link here. So you um, do the registration and now you can you know, type in any username. It should be email address. So I'm just going to be like test at test.com and then um, I'm just going to pick any password like test1, test1 and then click register. Here, once you register, it locked in for you already. You can see that now um, the user has like the test and test information here. And um, uh, since we're gonna imitate the login, I want to, you know, go through the login form. So I want to log out first and then I'm just gonna do login again. But, but before we log in, <clears throat> again, look at this. So if you have not logged in, um, it's gonna see, you're gonna see like guest user here, but if you locked in, you're gonna see your username right here. So this is like an indicator uh, whether you have logged in or logged out, right? Uh, if you see this, it means that you have logged out, but um, let's log in with like um, test and test.com, test one. Uh, once you log in, you're gonna see like the username here. So this is like an indicator that you have you know, log in. So um, now let's go back to our SAP. Um, we, um, let's, let's take a look at the history. The history is the, um, the, the link that we have visited um, using um, this icon here, right? It, it records everything we have done. Like it records that uh, once it opened, like it, we, uh, we um, go to this link, right? And um, um, the Mozilla actually um, do something that is not really about us, but Firefox does something. And then um, uh, when we load our home page, the home page load like uh, CSS and stuff like that. And then uh, the next thing we do, we go to the login page and go to register, right? And when you do re um, register, you can see that um, this is a get um, and this is a post where you like submit a button. If you click at double click on this, you're gonna see um, the um, the in the window here. This is the request that we have sent to the server, uh, and this is like the header, and this is like the the body. So this is the username and the the password and con confirm password that has been sent to the server. So this is the post, and when you post, right? This is request tab. There is a response tab. The response tab actually um, um, uh, uh, HTML file and it say that you know you have like logged in successfully and stuff like that. 
right? And let, let's take a look at the, this, the, the login, the, the, the login when you double click on it, right? This is the request that we have just done. And the response is exactly um, this page. It's exactly this page. Uh, so you, let's take a look at the response. This is like the HTML. And then if you go through it, it's just gonna say that you have logged in successfully, right? And then, uh, so this is um, the uh, SAP uh, lets you explore and then, you know, um, monitor the request and response. So next, uh, after we have learned more about um, the, the request that it has sent, uh, we are going to um, do the automatic login. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to take a look at the site and the site that we are using this one is um, localhost slash budget right so we're gonna come here to the, um, the, the the budget URL and we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to include context the default context so when we does that this is the context where we can specify like um, the user that we are that we want to log in and we can specify like um, the, the authentication and like the session um, management here let's take a look at the session management uh, normally when we log in um, the session will be kept in cookie uh, so we're gonna use like the cookie based um, session management and um, next we're gonna specify how are we gonna uh, authenticate but instead of manually input this uh, we're gonna do um, something a little easier so now we're gonna click ok first so what we are going to do is that in the history we find the post login and then we um, uh, and this is the, the request with the username and password right so what we do is that uh, since this is how we log in right uh, instead of manually inputting the login data we can right click it and do flag as context and say that this is a form based authentication login request once you click on it right it's gonna open the default context with the authentication and it's gonna fill in all this information for us so it's much easier uh, one thing that you have to change though is that is this the username parameter is username but the pass password parameter has to be password it's not so you have to you know change it a bit uh, so now we set the authentication already next thing that we have to set is the user we have to add the user so click add and then um, uh, it's the, the window might be like hidden so you have to take a look if it's there uh, so to, to add user, this is the, the display name. So you can just, you know, uh, uh, input anything you want. But the username and password uh, field here is the, the, the field or the data that SAP is going to input into like the input, the login form. So this is the um, username and password that we have just registered. So here, yeah. and then we click add. And once we add, uh, we have to uh, specifically choose that um, the user that you want to force log in is to is this user that we have just inputted. Uh, and um, so this is done for now. Okay, so almost done, almost done. What we have to do next is um, we have to uh, specify the indicator. Uh, how the SAP will know whether we have logged in or not. So we're gonna use um, this flag um, as a login. So if it's a guest user, it's logged out. But if it has user information, it's logged in. So to, to flag it, um, what we are going to do is we're gonna find um, um, the, the page. So you can just do this. Um, this is the response right from from this 
the response. Um, if you go down there, you're gonna see the user test. So this is the login indicator. So you just highlight it, right click, and say flag as login indicator. So if you see like user, um, uh, you log in. This is a login indicator. Uh, and and let me click, and you're gonna see that the login indicator is um, auto fill in right here. We're gonna do something for with the logout in a bit. So click OK for now. We we don't use test test as the indicator because if you have several um login, let's say you have like a role based um authorization, so um you might have to test different type of users. This data will change, right? Uh, so um you cannot use it as a login indicator because it changes every single time. You you use um the like the um, the prefix instead because it doesn't change okay so next we're gonna flag as log out so let's let's find out where i think uh it's like lock be before we log in here this is guest user so we highlight it right click flag as log out context log, log out indicator so now the lock the lock out indicator this is log in right the log out message is right here so you click ok <coughs> so now we have um, set like we almost done but we're gonna try to run first um, what uh, uh, to, to run what we do is that um, to test whether our login works we click uh, at this uh, page uh, and then we do open in browser and we choose Firefox Right. Uh, I haven't finished setting it yet, but I'm just gonna show you that if um, it's not locking in automatically, um, what um, how, how does it work? Wait, that, but let me close this thing first. Okay, I'm just gonna right click it, open in browser, and then do Firefox. Okay. So now it's it's still guest user because I haven't finished on the last part yet, so it will not be able to log in. So when you do open, it just open without logging in, right? So I'm so now to to enable the login, you have to do the last part, which is an icon here. Looks like a padlock. Looks like a padlock. Uh, uh, in in an unlock stage. So what you do is that you click on it once you click at this it's locked now right so this is like a false user button so um it say that to lock in you want to lock in so now i'm just gonna do the same thing again um, open in web browser now it should like lock in as a test test Now it's locked in as test test, so now it's automatically locked in, right? Okay, so when it locked in, now um, now it can explore more. The automatic um, spider can explore more because it can do like lock in, lock out, and if if um, um, after you lock in, if it has uh, more link, it's gonna be able to you know go to uh, more URL. So I'm gonna test it a little. Uh, Actually, this page uh, when you log in and log out, it it doesn't uh, it doesn't really have any more links much, but um we we'll, we'll see. So now um I'm just gonna close it. So we're gonna go back to the spider. So this is what we have done earlier, right? This is um before we um log in uh or or, or before we do automatic log in. It found like one thirty one with just Lock in. It doesn't have a lock out button, right? It hasn't gone through like the lock out page, and um, uh, you actually see the um the scan history right here. Now we can do another spider scan, and then um now with the lock in, we're gonna see um the differences. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna right click this, and then um uh, we're gonna go to um or oh, actually before that, ah. Oh, 
uh, before doing that, let me show you something. If you want to change the context, if you want to add more users, what you can do is that you can double click on the default context. Uh, when you double click on the default context, this is the um, the setting with like the authentication that we have just done earlier, like with the user and stuff. Like you can add more user here too if you have like a role base and you want to test different um, roles. Okay. Um, okay. Now we're gonna do the 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 spider. So what you do is that you right click on this and you click attack and you choose um spider. When you choose this, you're gonna choose default context, which will do authentication for you. And then you can choose the user that you need. Here you choose test, and then you click start scan. Let's see. Okay, so it found a bit more page, right? Before it's 131, now it's 136. So let's take a look at um, this one. See, um, now we have log in and log out. Um, so, and it found like the password as well. Before there is no like uh, password URL. So with the um, the automatic log in, um, the spider can go to more URL, can scan more stuff in your uh, web page, and it can it, uh, definitely can detect more um, vulnerability if if there are more in there. So um, this is um, should be um, a very good overview of how to do like form based authentication automatic, automatic, automatically with SAP.